Welcome to Girls Guts Glory, the, the broadcast. broadcast. Did someone say broads? Previously on the broadcast. Some magical, calorie free cotton candy. What's a calorie? She looked like or a real life. Fall over. Proper lady. Oh, I look like a proper lady. You guys begin to walk into the main quad area right at the cusp of the event starting to really kick off. is going on with the ferris wheel the toad bumper cars it is a very so like druid inspired sort of fair however um it's still within like the school parameters there's still a lot of these sort of um older teacherly eyes around you the guards are here they don't want the kids to get too reckless they're making sure no one's spiking anything it is supposed to be good old good good magic school fun for the good kids who will not do anything too rambunctious at this university. You can tell these there's like there's extra security just to make sure nothing goes down. Huck. Uh, you, you, look at the teacherly eyes. I know. There's the there's very a, teacherly. So many chaperones. Very they're they're chaperoning and you know. Yes. As you guys say that, yeah. one says, You need a chaperone? No! One no, just kind of pops no, up no, behind no. you no. as you No no. God, you're Thank everywhere. You. Okay. Just remember. We have brooms, and if we see you all too close, dancing too close together, we're gonna use the brooms. What to go is through. this uh, what? elementary uh, school? You, what, uh, dancing. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you don't need to worry about that with them. Um, Good. With, do you mind if I pat you down for with, drugs? What? <laughs> you guys just. Walk I do, away. in fact. <laughs> yeah, and you guys just <laughs> walk away as the chaperone is just like awkwardly bumbling around, sees two other kids like uh, getting too close, and walks <laughs> over to them and pries the kissing couple away. So they at least got distracted as the two of you guys move forward. This is a real awkward fair. Oh. It's real uncomfortable. I, right. ne I, I never went to one of these before. Are they always like this? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. Oh, you should, huh, you should see the, the festivals where I come from. They're even more gay than this. Um, they're even more extravagant. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I follow. I, I knew it. I knew. I knew what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> Some might even call it extra. E extra. 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 Very extra. Oh, I like extra. I'm a very quiet person, so I like a lot of extra. Sure. Yeah, as you guys are walking through, like couples, people are holding hands. There's. There's a couple girls throwing, you know, um, uh, like a s softballs at those kind of bobbleheads, knocking them down, getting presents for their significant others. It's a very, like, jovial, fun atmosphere, and the first people all in here are all the couples, because they're the ones who are most excited to do this together. And then you get some of the other kids kind of straggling about, friend groups kind of uh, coagulating in corners, uh, getting ready to kind of become the pep cheer squad for whatever their friends are going to bring forward. You guys catch and pass and as you're walking around at this event that's not getting more crowded since everybody who was in the hallway is, is beginning to filter in in each one of the access points here from the main halls that kind of wrap around the inner courtyard here. Um, you can catch that there's people whispering about some of the uh, some of the surprises that certain people running have and you guys can overhear. Um, one, of, uh, one of them heard that Special is going to be walking out and she's going to snap her fingers twice and a whole tail of like peacocks are going to like almost explode from behind her in this beautiful rainbow of different colors. Extra. So, That's obnoxious. So everyone's really excited to see what she's going to bring because last year was crazy, but you guys catch that this is what she's been working on. Um, you can hear that uh, there's somebody named Priha who is also running. Uh, Priha's a wizard, so you, they have a feeling that she's going to be using some of her spells in order to get something really cool, maybe fly and throw down like an enchantment and have wind kick up around her. Uh, because she apparently worked uh, very closely uh, with the Dark Pack of the Wind in order to create some sort of uh, flotation and twirl, almost like a twister around her. So you, you hear as you guys are just making your way around about how far, almost like in a float-esque way, everyone's going to make themselves the center of attention during the, uh, the speeches. I'm just in line for the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Eating my cotton candy. This cotton candy. <sighs> Why Watch can't we have action. it for every meal? And I put it on my tongue and it just dissolves. <gasps> how did it do that? Is that magic? 
I don't know. It feels and I like put magic. Someone's Starla's tongue, and it also dissolves. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. And no calories. And like the moment, it's amazing. The moment it goes down your esophagus, you feel like it di- like it, dis- like it doesn't exist anymore right around the end. It's like I tasted something, but I didn't actually eat anything. Exactly. We can eat as much as we want and taste as much as we want. And no calories. Yep. She yes. understands. Not really, but you sound really excited about it. Oh, so I'm going to be excited about it. Starla. Do you want glowing hair like us? You can do that? <laughs> and I touch her beehive and it starts to glow as well. Yeah, oh. it's, it is. You have a glowing beehive of hair now. And like there's these three beautiful glowing hairs uh, right in front of the <laughs> line. Um, you, guys get, uh, you guys get told that it's because of how shoddy and small it is. It's only two people who can go in at a time. But I'm so small. I'll go with Wreckage. <laughs> And I link arms with Wreckage. Oh, yeah. You two go ahead. I was going to uh, say that I could go with Wreckage. Oh, you go with Wreckage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll go with whoever. I'll go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> and he just takes a moment, and then you guys get in the Ferris wheel together, and they close the door, and it begins to turn. Uh, the next two go in. It's Drusilda and Starla, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. So, Starla. Yeah. Dish. About what? About why you want to look all fancy all of a sudden. I don't know. It's, it's, uh, I've just never done this before, you know? Mm-hmm. Huxman's okay. spending a lot of time with fruit, and I don't really know how to feel about it. And you guys oh. catch, you're at the very top of the Ferris wheel, and you can see fruit and Huck kind of walking around. Uh, some of the, there's some people nearby the games, and you can see them walking straight through. And is this because he, it's obvious to everyone he's very interested in you and you didn't seem that interested in him but are you thinking because he's now interested in someone else that it's classic don't feel bad yeah i don't know it's very confusing i have a lot of feelings and i don't really know what how they they're there and i'm feeling them and i just i don't know (sighs) because it's like like i love him but like in like a like a uh not a you know it's like, uh, does the idea the, of his hand touching your hand make you feel sisterly or does it make you feel excited? It makes me feel like warm and like comforted. But in a relational, familial way or like a exciting pitter patter? I mean, well, I mean, I never really like, I, re- uh, I haven't like had like a family relationship since like. I was like, I don't know. I was thinking, uh, mm, uh, mm. feelings are hard. Okay? They're very hard. You know, I've just, I don't know. I haven't had a lot of like, like feelings relationships. You know, it's been like, oh hi, you own me now. Um, I guess I'll kill people for you. You know, or like, oh, oh I guess I'll steal this for you. But it's like, it's never been like. And not until I got to the farm where it's been like, nice. Drisilda's oh. eyes are watering. <laughs> so it's like, like if he finds someone else to love, does that mean he's not going to love me anymore? I don't think so at all. Whether, you, whether your feelings for him are familial or possibly romantic, either way, I think Huck will always love you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do an insight check on her to see if I can yeah. help her discern if it's erotic or. Oh, Erica's eyes are romantic are or, yeah. or um, familial. Just roll, just roll a quick insight check to see how she's feeling, even okay. just to kind of gauge like, it, is she okay? It's a, it's a, it's a twenty-two. So what you what you feel here? There's there's nothing skeptical. She's being completely blunt and honest. And you're trying to read more into this to give her more comfort, mm-hmm. but she's so confused that you don't think you can help her with this. It's almost the best thing you can do is almost just be the friend that she needs at this moment and just kind of sit and smile as hard as you can at this fairy wheel, it's Ferris wheel as it goes around. Um, do you got any more of that no calorie thing? Yes. And you guys begin to share the cotton candy with one another. Wreck it. Wreck it. Hey, um, 
Do you want to see something cool? Yeah. Yeah. And so his arms, his arms, like you guys sat across from each other, you know, you know, because he didn't know where to go when you first sat in. Like you went in first and he was like, well, I shouldn't sit next to her. So he like sat across from you and he's like trying to figure out where to put his arms as you're talking to him. Uh, look. And she sticks out her tongue and puts cotton candy on it and it disappears. <laughs> it melts. That, that's awesome. Right? We were all talking about how cool it is. Yeah. Uh, um, I was actually looking for you guys because, you know, after you went downstairs, you know, I, w I wasn't going to follow you into your, your dormitory or anything. So, you know, I came back and, um, do you, do you notice anything different? <gasps> <laughs> Tell me, what do I notice? <laughs> Roll a perception check. <laughs> relationship it's, thing too where it's like did you notice something different about yeah. it? I rolled um, a natural one. However <laughs> I have uh, the lucky feet. Okay good. Yeah. You may want to <laughs> so I rolled a four instead. <laughs> <laughs> Celine you are struggling to figure out what's different. You can't tell. What do you say to him as he's looking for an answer? Uh, you are looking extra cool. Your hair is looking especially fluffy. Yeah. Um, Your outfit is <laughs> very new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean those are all those are all things, I guess. But uh, it's it's cool. It's it's. it's Wait, it's, no. It's Tell me. <laughs> um, well, I thought maybe you would notice the giant wings I put on my back. <gasps> <laughs> 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 Eyes were so sparkly that I could not see oh, anything but them. Yeah, I thought it would be like a nice. I just really like your guys' wings, so I thought it would be like it. Anyway, um, I, did you make uh, them yourself? Yeah, it took me all night. Well, they're evening, so. Afternoon. <laughs> I haven't been working on it for days. What? what? They're <laughs> so cool. You look rad, Rekhead. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can I have some of that? <laughs> yeah, here. Have as much as you want. There is zero calories, you know. <laughs> he like awkwardly eats the cotton candy with you. And so the ride just going around and all of you. Just imagine every couple right now on that Ferris wheel is awkwardly eating cotton candy. Every every two pair. Um so let's uh let's go over to Farut and Huck as you guys are weaving through the main kind of crowd in the games section of the fair. I would like to roll a perception check just to see yeah. what kind of dynamics might be playing out, you know, amongst great um, fellow festival goers. Please do, as I like to do. Yeah, that will be uh, sixteen. Yeah, as you're kind of gauging how the events going, there's a lot of bubbling, a lot of excitement. The magic ball just around the corner. People can't wait to kick off this year uh, on a on a high note. They just can't wait. A lot of kids are going to be graduating this year. A lot of you guys. This is like closer to your final years, really. Um, unless you continue your studies into the university that is here. Because it's a pretty much all-inclusive school. You guys know or have known a lot of these kids from a young age if you have attended the school like you for real. Well, Huck hasn't. But. No. Yeah, yeah, or new additions. But there's a lot to be explored here. And people of all different ages, they kind of accept people across the board. There's, there's parameters within it. But there's people all the way up from 24 all the way to about 10. There's a large spectrum of schools within the school. Um, so this very exclusive fair is only for those who are within that sort of middle age gap, kind of like the high school years. Um, and wh from what you can gauge as people are listening, you caught that thing about special. You hear whispers about Cobalt is going to be making an appearance uh, because he's obviously the known choice uh, for King. Uh, there's uh, Jakovic Toba, uh, somebody you're not familiar with, but probably inconsequential. Somebody who's like a mid-level kid who doesn't, who's trying to get his name noticed, but younger and maybe hasn't made a stake or a name here. You also catch the name Wreckit. Like, like people are kind of talking about Wreckit. Like, like people are talking about Wreckit. Like, there's an actual. He's content, like there's, he might be a contender. People are like, who aren't the cool kids are whispering about him. Like, you know, all the special interminians and all of them, they're not whispering about him. They're all excited for the other two, but Rek is kind of getting, a, there's buzz. 
did you just yeah hear that I d was his name put is in? He I don't know. Is he running? I don't. I mean, it doesn't really seem like him, but maybe, maybe. somebody else put his name Ooh. in the running. Oh, that's possibly. Uh, I have a feeling I know who. Who? Our friends are, are a little meddling sometimes. Sure. Yeah. So if he's running, mm. we should we should we should figure out how to like boost him up, make him seem you know. With all the the magic things and and we should see if he knows. Yeah, we should probably talk if to him he first. if <laughs> he's you, running or not. You catch with a perception check, talking with Record. You're looking around for him. He's on that fair tour with oh, look Selene, up there. and they are sharing awkwardly oh. Oh. from a distance, even clearly. Uh, uh, cotton candy. You can also catch that Drusilda and uh, Starla are on the ride together as well. Oh, they're all up there on the I mean, wheel. They're, they're kind of hard to miss with their glowing hair. Yes. It's a good thing because now we can see them all. A big old yeah. beehive. Yeah. Stala. Yeah, it's very shiny. Do you want to go on the Ferris gaunty. wheel? Sure. Because then we'll be there when they go off. Sure. Let's, yeah. Yes, we can try to catch them on the way out, maybe. Yeah. Or Let's go. Or we can just shout up to Record. Sure. Hey, you've been. Right. Did you know? Nominated. Surprise. Hi. Yeah. Hello. We'll help you. Yeah. We'll try. Yeah. I can use my whatever thing that, that uh, what's his face gave me. To help him, we should also like see if we can. I wonder though if there might be any more danger in in running. Oh, that is a fair point. You know, I just have a bit of skepticism when it comes to all of this because of yeah. you know what's <clears throat> hap what's transpired over the last few several weeks, yeah. and you know new people coming into power in the school and what that might mean for the future of the students here. But if Wrecked won, it might upset the balance and it might, you know, irritate whatever Cobalt question mark is right now, you know? Do you believe Wrecked is trustworthy? Yeah! I mean, he brought you back to life. True. That was awful nice of him, and he's done some real nice things so far. He's he's really helped us. And I mean, if he does end up betraying us, I don't know. We should find out who put his name in the running. Yeah, we should talk to the lady. You Let's guys go. Actually, did catch Celine? She rolled like a four trying to yeah, hide you all that caught from me. you guys. So you guys knew that Celine did that. Okay. So you guys are gonna go over to the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the ride kind of ends right away. But I would like the three of you to please roll a perception check as you guys are. Uh, the three of who? Uh, the three who are currently on the Ferris wheel, not including Record. Record will also roll. Um, just to look. You guys are looking around awkwardly. <laughs> Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Rolling well. Perception? Mm -hmm. Four. Okay. <laughs> Six. So I'm gonna say you're all fairly distracted with your conversations or things going on. You didn't get. You guys weren't on the Ferris wheel to ask people to be looking around. You guys were enjoying each other's company and having fun. But you safely get off, no trouble stirred. You don't even catch that Farouk and Huck are now in line right at the entrance as you guys are all exiting. Um, so you guys begin to walk off as you pass Farouk and Huck together. Do we see that they have just exited? Yeah, yeah, you guys are like passing each other. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. oh hey. we gotta talk for a second. What is up? Well, we... I've been hearing around the grapevine that Wreck-It is maybe a good I'm contender. Here. I'm here. Hey, buddy. What's up? Did somebody tell you? Have you heard? What? That Celine put your name in for king? Pro pro of the Magi Magiball. Magiball king. Well, I did do that. Really? Well, I had some. somebody told me somebody did it, and I didn't know who. So the moment that I found out, I started making these wings. Hoping that it was one of the two of you. Aw, that's real cute. That's pretty Giselle precious. Giselle points well. her finger at Celine. I well. just thought that there should be a good man running for whom we can all root for. Yeah. And yeah. my twin senses are picking up that there's some genuine romantic interest in here, maybe? I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna put your name in. My <gasps> name? I was, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that because, you know, because at the time we were all kind of going through some stuff. Yeah. Well. yeah. And she was maybe a vampire. At one point. Yeah. That was like a whole thing, so that I didn't want to explain. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Also, like it kind of put a dent in my, me wanting to approach you. I don't know how that whole thing would work. You know, that's you know, if you have a mm -hmm. interest in, you know, hey, mm -hmm. do you want to like get a, a 
a, a slushy? Yeah, maybe you guys should go and talk about, you know, your plan to, you know, homecoming it up, you know? I do think, though, that the event, like, the, the formal speeches are going to be happening pretty soon. So. Yeah, you should you should definitely help him on that. To be honest, uh, uh, I am still a little confused as well, because I have a boyfriend. Is he still your boyfriend, though? Oh, well, if he still exists, yes, because that is not him. But he sold his soul. Just a reminder. Again. Giselda nods her head emphatically. And you know who didn't sell his soul? The girls are always Rick. into the guys who sell their souls. And he's like, <laughs> he her off. And he like walks over to the slushie. He's like, I'm gonna give you a slushie. And he just like walks over to buy a slushie. You should go with him. <sighs> Just saying he brought you back. You don't have to romance anything or anybody. No one's ever going to force you. It's just going you. too quickly right now. Just go Fair and enough. talk to him as a friend then. Okay. If yeah. you can't be with someone that you love as as their partner, you can at least be their friend. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's I... a very good chance that you might win, Record. We've been hearing all over the festival that you're a crowd favorite. People yeah. like you. Yeah. Do you want us to put a good word out there? Maybe spread around some good vibes around yeah, oh, I'm good at whisper. Your nomination? Yeah, yeah, I guess that maybe maybe it'll help my chances. So yeah, do it. Yeah. Great. We should also find Trinity. That was one of our bigger <gasps> rats. Trinity. Right. So uh, as you guys decide to forego the Ferris wheel to start spreading around his name instead of t going on the ride, essentially. Um, I just want you to, as you guys are going to be doing that, and if anybody else wishes to participate, just roll a quick, um, let's have this be a quick performance or a persuasion check. It's you're trying to go around and spread the good word, because right now, right after this check, oh. the event's about to start. So. I'm going to try to spread some good words as well. Okay. So uh, let's uh, go around the circle. Uh, Huck? Dirty 20. Dirty 20, all right. I rolled a 19. Uh, nice. 25. 25. Celine? 18. Nice. You guys are just killing it. Just an eight. Not eight. Okay, she was a little <laughs> distracted with her nails and getting yes. her hair done for her, wow. for her uh, look today. Not very helpful at all. Three. Three. Yes, Perus, you're a little distracted. Oh, I think you're maybe watching Huck execute this very, very well. So I'm just here for moral support. I want to get a quick <laughs> glance of what this might look like. There's a lot of patrons and kids around. I also around tend and... to be more of a, a observational yes. type mm -hmm. of. So you're watching. Drusilda's watching herself Preacher. in a mirror. <laughs> 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 and what are the three of you guys doing to get uh, it successfully get his name spread? Uh, I'm gonna walk around to like bigger groups, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna motion to my my friends to come over, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna say really loudly. Wow, I hear that record is real cool. I think he's going to win. I think he's got a good chance. But just in case, we should all vote for him because he's so cool and nice, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I I'm going to walk around with Reckitt and say, Have you met Reckitt? He is so wonderful. Look at these wings he built himself. He also can bring back deads. How amazing is that? He like slurps on his slushy every... Yeah, I can do all that, yeah. And he's, <laughs> and he's so low-key about it all. Record for prom king. All right, so I want, I want uh, the three of you who successfully made this check to please roll a D100. Ooh. Oh. See how many people you persuade in a short amount of time. 86. 86. Nice. 10, and the other one was a zero. So that's another 10? 20? It would be 10 if you rolled the double one with the one and zero. That would be 10. I, I did 10 and then zero. This is what I had rolled. Yeah. But you gotta sell it 10 yeah. people really excited oh, about boy! it. Oh boy! But then Starla, apparently the two of you guys championed together to get about 96 kids excited to vote for him, which is a pretty substantial amount. There's probably about 300 people here. I got 71. <laughs> cool! Ooh. It's because yeah. we're shiny. You're like, you guys are doing a really good job. We're maybe like about half the kids here are getting excited. Now you don't know if they're gonna vote, but you're getting out to them. They're spreading the word. There's buzzing happening. You almost hit half the people in a very short amount of time running around in about 10 minutes. Um, as you um, as you guys suddenly hear 
like a sort of chant, like everyone starts to clap and people start to leave all of the rides. People are going away from the games, which is all in the center of this very large quad. And people are starting to filter out to the stages nearby. Um, you hear from what you might think is a loudspeaker, but just seems to be a floating sound. Someone's probably using thaumaturgy from some sort of corner. <laughs> And it's time for your speeches. May the contestants or those submitted <laughs> please stand on up. The event's about to begin. And all the kids like start to cheer and like go to their nearby cor the corners. In the northern corner, we have the classics, the ones who won the year before. Well, one of them did special and a new contest contestant Kovalt as like everyone begins to clap and like special we love you so much um, um so you can see that the two of them are like beginning to step on stage you don't see Kovalt you see um special being helped up first though um I would like to seek a bit of higher ground just so I have more of a bird's eye view of <laughs> everything going on so i yeah. fly up to um the second floor? is there well uh, are we outside it's like an it's like the quad and then from the it's like three i had a photo <laughs> and i wish i had drawn this out but it's like a square and then the the inner square is three stories high so it's like an inner ward with a quad and it's three stories high so you can perch up on the second story or the third story i'll fly up to the second yeah so you fly up into a corner on the second story do you fly up to the north uh, east, south, or west corner. Right now, the northern corner is where Special and Cobalt are. I want are. to be opposite where the stages are. <clears throat> um, there's a oh, stage on each corner. Oh, got it. Like, it there's a north, south, east, and west corner. Put me wherever. Put you wherever. So, uh, mm -hmm. I'll say that you perch uh, on, on the eastern corner as you hear them being announced, because you don't know these folks as much, and you would rather keep your eyes on people you know. Sure. Um, so the eastern quarters announced Jenko Rich Toba and Priya Veradil, uh, contestants for prom king and queen. And you can kind of hear them, everyone clapping or magic, magic prom, magic ball, king and queen. <laughs> Kelly, I absolutely love the fact quick that technical thing. question. Oh, yeah. How, okay, so I cast mage armor on myself right mm -hmm. before we, when we were going up the steps at on our way to meet Niles Orin. Mm -hmm. How many hours has it been since then? Six. Six. Okay, so I still have it for a couple more hours. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Good question. Um, so yeah, you hear all these people cock applauding, but it's kind of light. You think that these people maybe are running with the hope that maybe next year they can get voted in. Because again, you can submit yourself for almost every year up to four years. Special has won over the past three years. This is her final year. She's pretty much up to win this event, uh, hands down. But these other two maybe are promising younger contenders. Um, on the southern side, you hear some clapping. Uh, but then it stops, and you overhear the announcement. Interesting. Trinity G, I guess, is going to be submitting herself this year. This is a good, fun one. And then we have Wrecked as our friends. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta go over there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Trinity G and Wrecked get placed on the Southern. Then there's Western. And we have some two, uh, we have two come from behinders here. People who uh, we saw at the bottom of the submission bill. Uh, we always say, you know, kids, don't be afraid to submit. This isn't a popularity contest. This is all about school. It literally is. Though. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you hear from the announcer, whatever teacher is currently announcing over this is the speaker head. All right, so for our last stage contestants, I can't believe we have eight this year. This is great. Maybe next year we'll have 16. <laughs> Uh, but please don't have more than that. We don't, the stages are very hard to <laughs> um, We have, uh, I get, Juzilda Sunderson uh, nominated. Ma Excuse me? And I radiant soul myself up onto the <laughs> stage and slowly <gasps> flutter down. Juzilda? What? Did you put your name in? Why didn't you tell any of us? Because then we could have gotten people to vote for you. Yeah, we could have helped you. I'm well, just beaming at my ability to keep secrets right now. <laughs> and... I, the reason I didn't tell you is because I'm really not that threatened. Look at the other females in the competition. They're all very popular. That's <laughs> and mean. Well, I mean, special is the only yeah, one well, who's like popular in quotes. Yeah, but she's gonna threaten people into voting for her. We coulda, we coulda buttered we them could've. up. We could've. I got mm. 71 people for yeah. record. I got 86. And I'm so happy about that. I got 10. Honestly, I don't really give a shit about winning. It's more just not letting her win. 
So yeah, so you I guys say, had all kind to. of you guys had all kind of run to the southern corner, and then the moment you still done was out, you all turned and ran to her stage <laughs> because you just had no expectations. So you guys are all by the stage as she's talking to you, and she's like, people around her are like, go up on stage, go up on stage. You can hear people telling her to get up and like go up there because you have to make a speech. Then the final name gets announced, and apparently someone named Niles Orant, and nobody applauds. There's like a couple people. Niles Orant and. Uh, Niles or who is that? And you just kind of overhear it. And well, if we could just have all of our contestants up on stage, um, we'll move forward from here. Great. And if anybody doesn't show up, you know that means that you're disqualified. Uh, as you can kind of hear that. Huck, you could be Niles. No, I'm not Niles. That makes me feel so bad. It is really sad, but he oh. wouldn't have gone up anyway. Yeah, he would have. We, we, we took him out before he had the chance to do this and it well, was his was, big moment. And you Remember, also have a feeling, hiding. and you have a feeling someone might have done this as like a, a, a joke. Oh, yeah. my heart. Because he was he was definitely hiding away from the world. Oh, I feel he so didn't bad even want us to be there. I he feel want, so bad for To be him. honest though, he, d he did try to kill us. I mean, he I don't think really he had a choice. Yeah. I think he wanted us to take him. So with that sort of solemn note, just recognizing that nobody here even, everyone's looking at them quizzically, maybe one person half applauded out of just like sheer confusion. Uh, you guys all assemble though. And very quickly you can overhear that he is disqualified, he does not show up, but everybody else gets escorted to the stages and people are buzzing. There's conversations happening. People are really excited to see things. You can already see stepping up on the stage. There's, um, you see special and you see standing next to her, uh, Someone who's probably cool vault, but currently fully dressed in some sort of like, almost like full uh, knight armor. Like it, it, it looks like cool vault's form and body, but it's very beautiful um, as he stands up on stage with her. Uh, the other two on the Eastern corner, Jekka, Rich and Priya are decked out in these absolutely like gorgeous Bollywood style dresses. You can tell that they were probably just like wanted all their sashes and gold. I mean, they look beautiful, but they're a little overdone just because they're really trying. They're wearing probably three or four more garbs layers <laughs> than they should. Uh, then the southernmost corner, Trinity and Reckon. So Reckon standing there, uh, currently wearing all gold uh, with the sort of white trim for divination school. And he has what you can see are the kind of like these fake angel wings behind him. Um, sitting next to him though is Trinity, who uh, doesn't really have much. She's wearing like a very, very slim fitting red dress, a la like Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> and her hair is kind of out. And she's just standing there and like smiling and nodding and waving to everybody very politely. Um, and then on the Western quarter, Juzilda on her own stage. Um, so I'm gonna roll it 1d4 as the speeches begin. Uh, so let's see who. Which... I wanna get over, I wanna sneak behind Record's mm -hmm. stage and be prepared to cast something to help him. Okay, sounds good. Anybody else wanna do any preparation or is anybody watching anybody very actively? I'm well, going to mm -hmm. um, go from my post over closer to where above where Drusilda is standing. Great, so you, you fly from the eastern and kind of make your way over to the western corner. So you do like a full track around, okay. I'm gonna lean into Selena and be like, is there anything that like magic you can do to like boost her during like her speech, like magic effects or something? I don't have anything. I just have- I can light a candle. I can, um, you know what? I will give her guidance. Okay, sounds good. And I will also cast some um, light. Uh, behind her, you know, I'm trying to make it cool. Yeah, so she's just <laughs> extra glowy. As Drusilda, as you're like, you you walk up, like over to the side of the stage and behind like the makeshift curtains, your friends step up there and like kind of cast whatever they can. Uh -huh. I'm going you. to I light a single candle and set it in front of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I'm going to whisper down to Drusilda. Drusilda, I'm up here. If you need help at any point, just give me a look. What kind of signal will you give me? I'll bat my eyelashes at you. Okay. <laughs> and you can see them because they're like a mile long. And I'll sweep <laughs> up and take you away if you need. Perfect exit. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Do you still have your wings? Oh, yes. They'll last for a full minute, but. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been a minute? Um, 
Maybe not. <laughs> a minute, have you cast your wings yet? I don't believe she I did. She, she radiant cast soul, radiant soul, soul to... which makes my wings come out and then oh, I'll flutter yeah. down to the stage. Oh yeah, but they then only your, last for a your minute. Your wings so. are out, like they're out, they're out. Okay. Uh, it, these speeches, I'll say for <clears throat> for the for uh, show's sake, that you feel like you can hold on a little bit more. <laughs> Just add these awesome okay. wings for now. Okay. Um, okay. So the first people who go up are actually Jaku, Rich, and Priya, and they talk, and you over here and. Uh, very quickly, Priya is like, a noble sun elf wizard. I am the peace world giver here. You know I'm the blade singer of the Red Tiger, captain of House of Vara and Evermeet, and blessed of Corellian. Listen, I protect those beneath me and I will stamp out wrongdoing. I am your prom queen. I'm like a yeah. magic ball queen. And like you can kind of hear some people, you know, champion her as she stops for a second. Uh, she actually makes a pretty good speech, but you have a feeling that, uh, very quickly, uh, she's not a contender in terms of specials, uh, particular feat. Gio is also just standing there, he's like, yeah, what Priya said, my babe. And he like puts my his babe. arm around her, he's like, my babe, yeah, whoa, you know it, vote for us. So like, they're kind of going okay, um, as the eastern <laughs> corner had been picked to go first. Now I'm going to roll to see which next corner. Drizilda, you're actually up next. Oh, uh, The okay. western corner as the light shines from uh, Priya, and Jaco Rich and like quickly pans over to your left as you're able to make a quick speech or kind of do what any sort of embellishments you want. One thing that Jaco Rich and Priya did do is when they they kind of spun around quickly and like gold dust kind of emanated from them, almost like a dust bowl. And people liked it. They were like very impressed, but you don't know if they're gonna be winners. Mm, okay. I would just like to take this opportunity to say to all of you how wonderful you have made this school experience. I always hated school, but you've all been so lovely to me over the entire four years that we've all been together that I just, I'm just bursting with love right now. It's about you. Thank you all so, so much for being so lovely to me and to my sister. And I'm just gonna have such fond memories of you. And without further ado, and I, Whirl up with the last of my wings, and as I'm spinning, I hurl off my garnets into the crowd <laughs> yeah, as so a little gift. As they, as you hurl off your garnets, they, they, they do this really cool thing. They extend and stretch almost. Yeah, because it's like the super effect yeah, that like I saved for effect. later. And I'll say they stretch out, and as you kind of shoot them out, they create fireworks. So like fireworks explode from your hands in garnet rubies. And I try my my uh, galaxy nails. Yeah, and mm -hmm. try to do something behind her by. Lifting Lifting my hands and and shooting my nails out as well. Yeah, it creates almost like a star fireworks. This twinkling stars kind of like illuminate behind your Zilda as she flies up with these angel wings, and everyone's clapping about how much they hate school. So <laughs> the candle and he yeah. just waves it. In front. <laughs> Free and bird then, starts playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and then right when I'm at the top and my wings disappear, I bat my eyelashes at Farut to come catch me <laughs> and whisk me away. <laughs> And I swoop in off my little perch and gather her in my wings and shoop. So fly I'll say, I'll say what happens is Drusilda, you kick up, but because you had cast that spell, it only lasts about a minute here. You're holding on as much as you can. So the moment that your wings go away, everyone gasps. Like you, <gasps> and you start to fall, but then you bat your eyelashes at fruit. Oh my God. And fruit, you swoop up behind her in this beautiful way where you almost latch your arms underneath her and your wings unfold. So it looks like her her wings turn black. Yes. As she just, as you bat away and everyone's just like, oh, <laughs> 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 um, Can I have you roll a performance check with like advantage, please? Okay. <laughs> with like a strong advantage. And, she, and strong you've got guidance. I've got guidance too. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Which you can you can roll that and add it too. So seventeen was better. Okay. So seventeen plus four is twenty-two plus twenty-one. Twenty uh, twenty-one plus you said performance. Performance. Mm -hmm. Uh, twenty-five total. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. People are just like freaking out. So anyone who assisted her, um, I think everyone pretty much did except for Huck because Huck's preoccupied. But he's but cheering. I'm and trying to help wreck it, yeah. but I am cheering. <laughs> Go, Drusilla! And I would like the four of you guys to roll d20s. Uh, D100s, excuse me, D100s. Mm. See how many people you're kind of getting, turning on to Drusilda's side oh. here. I rolled better for Reckon. Me too. <laughs> That's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 80? 80. 80 people. Wait, you roll, um, roll, roll a D10 10. Ten. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's 80 well, something. So that, that one right there. This one. Oh. Nine. Nine. 89, Eight oh my gosh. Fruit, you're 
contribution really oh, yeah. 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 Back of the storm. 39. Nice. 39 people on yours? 28. 28, okay. Oh, and Drusilda, do I roll for yes, myself? You get to roll for yourself, oh, of course. Okay. That's Sorry. a big performance. You want to no, roll these? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. A 24. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All together, this gets over, almost over 160 people are cheering and roaring and raging. I will calculate that very soon. But people are just, just going bats. Like, like there's a moment that, okay, you know, Jiko, Rich, and Priya are, you know, kind of like applauding too. Like, they really loved what you, they might even vote for you right now. <laughs> 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 um, but you can see special, like, 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 kind of laughing and shrugging it off to herself, but there's a little bit of fear in her eyes because she doesn't like how many people are applauding for Drew Zelda right now. Um, and then Trinity is just like scathingly looking at you, like, <laughs> how dare you kind of thing, like steal my thunder. So after that, we're gonna move on to see who's next after that wonderful performance. I have a question. Is there uh -huh. a way to cast, I realized I was using my <laughs> silly voice. Is there a way to cast a spell secretly? Yes, you can use sleight of hand to do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll keep we'll that see in our back that's pocket. a good idea. It may not be. So the next people who actually go, uh, the the uh, the uh, light pans up to the northern section. Special and cobalt. So special right now is dressed as like a princess and her former crowns are all stacked on top of her from previous years. Does her hair still look terrible from when I cut it off? She's wearing a wig. Ah! She is wearing she is wearing like a full out princess. Oh god, wig. I wanna get that wig off. <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a way to do wig. it. Yeah. You've already pulled it off. This is clearly another <laughs> wig. The wig yeah. color. You got your wind. Just no, but that would just like knock her off and I'm sure I'd get in trouble if I did that. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. It's an option. So as this is happening, there's Huck a moment. Huck becomes so petty. It's <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> you see, like her. she's wearing this beautifully styled wig and the three crowns above her. She's wearing this like, like beautiful ball gowny dress that looks like it's made out of like silver. Like it's princess. It's like throw up princess quality. Like I'm talking like the live action Cinderella dress like style. Oh. And her prince charming is next mm -hmm. to her. So. The two of them do this thing where they both, they like clap twice and then all of their minions clap twice. And as their minions clap, you see behind them this tapestry of this like beautiful castle. And they start to like act out like this humongous thing where she's a damsel in distress in a tower. And like he comes riding in on a fine steed horse that's literally like like glowing out of nowhere. And then he hops off the steed. And then she's like, my prince. And like they're performing like a stage play what? essentially. Is everyone's just like, aw. Starla's walking around going behind people being like, boring. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna, okay. I actually have something I wanna do. I wanna start going through the crowd and whispering, first of all, Oh God, it's such a gaudy wig. It's just ter You can see the edges. It's so bad to people and telling them to petty, pass it petty, on. Petty, petty. And then saying, you know, I heard once someone cut up the back of her dress and she just had no idea that poor darling. Pass it on, tell other people. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's going through the crowd and then t having them spread it. So I, I want them to hear the whispers of everyone in the audience like, is that a wig? I heard that she got her dress cut up right. and she didn't even know. This will definitely be a persuasion. Check. Okay. You know what? Make it Percentile an intimidation check. Intimidation? Actually. I feel like you're kind of intimidating people to you know, feel this way about intimidating. Oh, I mean, it's a 19. A 19? That's yeah. pretty good. Uh, you're getting into some people's heads so here. You see a lot of them with like clapping. There's about half the crowd here is definitely on her side. You know, the other one's contesting with Drusilda right now. There's kind of this like tete a tete happening. Uh, but like you're getting into some of their heads. Um, I'll say, here, I'm going to roll for this. All right, I'm gonna say about, mm, about 15 people, and that, that can make all the difference in this sort of thing. I'm definitely not feeling as, like, you can hear them and be like, yeah, wow, that is a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really, it's really overdone, yeah, and her foundation is just, oh, yes. two shades, too dark. Like, yes. <laughs> That's all I wanted, and I'm gonna sneak back up behind Rekka and just, just be like, petty oh. enough that like, you get people around there to say that. Um, okay, I've never seen this side well, yeah, to you I was, before. I was trying to. I'm trying a to... petty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, Stylist's gonna be going around using her many different <laughs> accents <laughs> and be like, 
wow, this is so boring. And like, um, <laughs> all right. So if you're talking more about the experience, I would like a persuasion check because you're trying to tell people like you're snore festing and you're bored by this. Yeah, I'm just trying to like get other people to be like, oh yeah, whoa, okay, yeah, oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess so you're kind of right. Too <laughs> much. Over. Gosh, this is. Uh, <laughs> This is so overdone. This is so boring. It has nothing to do. Uh. <laughs> Fourteen. Um, so you're kind. Of, you get a couple people to overhear you, but um, a couple of them are too distracted by your hair. So like you try to go forward, and they're like, "Your hair's really cool." <laughs> Thanks. It was like really good. <laughs> Thank you. Drizilda did it for me. Yeah, like the only thing you need are some lashes and it would look great. <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't keep my eyes still long enough for oh, her to put no. them on, but Drizilda did my hair and my makeup, so vote for Drizilda. Noted, it looks really good. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> so you don't exactly execute what you need. You Some more people are a little bit stronger on Drizilda's side with that one. Um, so as this event kind of out, uh, like plays out, there's a moment where she screams and like a fake dragon, like phantasmic appears. <laughs> and billows out like smoke from its mouth and then it all dissolves as he slays the dragon and she falls into his arms and he twists her and there's like beautiful little dust all around as they float like a foot up and land and people Boring. go wild Boring. for it. People, people go Bang. wild. Boo. I'm, right, I'm rolling some d Boo, 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 okay. special boo. <laughs> okay, that's, um, okay, all right. Yeah, they get about a quarter of the crowd really into it. You have a feeling that at least a quarter of these people are hardcore special Cobalt fans. There's no way it's gonna get, you're not gonna be, pers be able to persuade about, you know, a quarter of this audience, 60 to 80 of these people. But there's still some people who are like, yeah, that wig. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so that ends, she claps. The audience does up, there's like an uproarous thing. You might even suspect a lot of people are applauding out of sheer will. Like this, this girl's been winning every year, might as well applaud. So it's really loud. So she's still definitely a contender. But then the light <laughs> uh, wax down now to the final speeches. Uh, um, Reckitt before, and Trey. Before I, I will, I ran over and gave Reckitt guidance as well for oh, his. Okay. So you kind of like hop on over or off Drizelda stage and screw you over and you cast a little guidance into Reckitt and he's like, thanks, Elaine. Appreciate it. All right. Behind Reckitt, I go, are you, are you ready, buddy? I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna make some noise. What do you get? Why do you what just are you, gonna you just do? gotta look cool, okay? Don't flinch. Okay, but uh, I got wings. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. And I'm gonna <laughs> wind gust up to make the feathers ruffle a little bit, but to make a loud noise and mm -hmm. hit the top of the trees. And then I'm going to cast my healing spirit on top of him. Cool. So this like fey creature is just casting down this golden light on top of him with his wings as well. And it's just standing above him watching. Okay, great, great, great. So, <laughs> as, so you're gonna wait for that perfect moment to yeah. do that, right? Oh yeah. As the light hits on him. So he's like, okay, here it goes. It's ready? on me, it's on me, okay. You ready? You got it, you got this buddy. Hey everybody, hi. Everybody actually goes pretty wild with that. Even does it's it's like, it's like he's so listen. Humble. I I know that there were times when I first came here that I was hanging out with people who who were judging others and being kind of rude to them. Listen, they're not plebeians, okay? We're all people. And he looks like at, behind it, Huck, and like winks, and then turns around. And, and since we're all people, I want to say this much: you can put a tattoo on your body, but guess what? I want to tattoo your heart. <laughs> oh, that's my boy! Yay, yay! And his wings unfurl behind him as he takes a moment, and you see him start to like whisper things. As you can see, um, like enchantments start to glow as all of the tattoos that he's done on everyone's <gasps> body start to like listen around. He's doing like a very faint sort Ooh, of uh, visualistic so cool. visual glow around Polygram. everybody he can see. And he's kind of pointing at different people as like their tattoos shine above him. And it's just this really nice moment where you guys see all the work that he's done for everybody in the school. And uh, there's, he, he probably stands Rapid. and he goes, okay, and he makes it up. And then I, okay, I let it loose. And then I cast the healing spirit above him to yeah. get this golden glow. 
and like he takes a moment as, as you do that and the moment he does it he hits something on his core and there's like a wave of energy that comes oh. from him he's like just go with it go okay yeah, yeah and like there's a kind of like this vibration um as his wings like shoot back and like it's just like exploding from him and there's this energy as this like fey deity that you summoned is above him and as you had actually done that because of the spell casting that happened with the necromancy earlier um he's like oh sweet because what happens is this almost purple energy wraps around him that so it looks way more metal than it does like in <laughs> yeah. and he's like oh this is all i've ever wanted <laughs> <laughs> and he just takes a moment he does it, and it's fantastic so i want you to roll a performance check, a performance check. and i'm gonna with advantage please oh okay. and he's also gonna do the same and you gave him guidance. Yeah. Give him guidance. Which he definitely needs. Because that was an okay roll. Hey. Rolled an 18. It's pretty good. But all together. 17. Okay, yeah. Like he's he is rocking. You are rocking behind him. Let's have us both roll percentile die to see how many people we get on, on his side. Come on, wreck it. It's just 40. 40? Yeah. You got 60. Better than 10. Oh wait, you know what? That is not the correct die I rolled the wrong one. I have to peek, guys. So Where's my 100? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, not a problem. I don't know where my die went. Here. Oh, here, I found it. Never mind, found it, found it, sorry. Mm -hmm. I was like, you have so many die as a DM. Mm -hmm. What? What? I rolled 100. Oh, what? Wait. <gasps> you rolled 100? Yeah, I rolled three zeros. Oh my uh, god. Wreck it. Wreck it. Wreck it. My boy. Killed it. What the hell? That's my boy. What the hell, Ricky? Oh my god! Okay. I'm so proud of okay. him. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Actually. Oh, actually. I'm so proud of him. So what happens is, so, so I don't think you guys ever knew the god he prayed to, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Oh god, who is it? So there's a moment that he's <clears throat> like, pray, like he's praying and praying, and. There's like a like a surge going through him, like he, you don't understand what's happening for a second. As you see his wings and the energy from you turn black, oh. and there's a moment that he stands, he's growing, and like there's he's like, what's this, what, 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 what are you, you okay, buddy? I didn't yeah. do it. I didn't know what you do. Oh great. And there's a moment that you can see him, and he turns and twists into a raven. Like a full out raven. Oh my and god! And then like goes up. And for anybody who wants to, roll a religion check. I want to know, but I i mean, Rachel knows, but Huck wants to know. know. Oh no, he he has no idea. Oh, I have no idea. This is a six! I mean, Starla doesn't know anything That's about so religion, cool. but. I only had a seven. Okay. Four. None of us know. I'll say this <clears> much. You guys, you guys don't know what it is, but you have a feeling that that surge, he wasn't expecting it. So yeah. you might want to ask him yeah. later yeah. on because I, I, it's. I fly. Over to him. And yeah, he's I, like, in, he's a bird. He's a physical bird. Are does you, he come up to my level? Yeah, he's like nearby where you okay. are. He's in the sky right now. And like, he's like a bird. And he he's looking at you. Are you okay? You're flying. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. Great. And there's a moment that like, you see him going, and he's like, I don't know how long this is gonna last. <gasps> And like he looks down, and then an interesting moment happens because he rolled in a hundred on this. So let me tell you what goes down. So everyone's in awe of like him. They're all looking up, like mouth agape, as this like giant, like this kid turned into like this giant raven that is like glistening, and glowing with like purple, like spiritual energy. Like it's it's wild. It like shot up, and it's 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 he's against the sky perfectly. And he takes a moment and he looks up and he's like, huh. And he like twists and it starts to create. So you guys, it is exactly like sundown, exactly that. So there's a moment he looks and you just see him bat his wings and the sky breaks behind him. Mm -hmm. Like all of the clouds start to dissipate and go away. As this is happening, everyone's like, whoa, but it's sunset. So you see the moon and he's perfectly against the moon right now. So there's a silhouette of this giant raven against the moon, but the sun gets exposed. And the moment that the sun starts to shine, there's chaos happening mm -hmm. currently in the fair. <clears throat> Most predominantly, Trinity. 
who was just about to begin her speech and open her mouth. There are 20 of her friends around her who are about to do it. And the moment that that happens, people start to scream. She screams. You see this burning energy coming from her. And people are like, what a cool trick. And she's like, but you can tell that there's panic. Like, this wasn't supposed to happen. She's burning. You see other people around her. Her minions also begin to scream in unison. Buck leaps out of the front of your thing and scurries away as quickly as as he can. But he just takes automatic damage. You can see his tail burning. Put him in. Yeah, he continue. takes he takes twelve points of damage. He pretty much passes out because he, he doesn't have a damage? lot. No, yeah, he he passes out. I'm gonna go out. run. He ran it. it. He ran as quickly as he could behind. But you have a feeling that like if you don't help him right away, he'll disintegrate. Oh yeah, I'm like, going to help him immediately. <laughs> okay. okay, it's fuck. Like, he, I'll say he has twelve. I'll say he is. He ha- he's a he's a bigger raccoon. He's not gonna die right away. He's like a familiar. He's a chunky friend. boy. He's a chunky, <laughs> he's a chunky monkey. He's got a lot um, of hit points. And in I'll it. say he just like his foot got clipped, okay. so it wasn't too bad. Okay. But it's enough that it burns. Like it's, he's screaming. Is his foot? Down. <laughs> I'm gonna try and no. feed him some good berries and then shove him back in my overalls. Well, the good berries don't seem to help, but but shoving them in his overalls away from yeah. the light. Oh yeah. I'm gonna does. get him out of the sun. Um. Oh, baby. So that chaos is happening, and what you see here is Trinity, like, like take a moment and she's hiding her face and trying to get away. And she's like, you hear like a snarl and you hear all these other people around where Reckon just was snarl and they all leap into the hall and start running. What about Cobalt? Cobalt is currently in a full night suit. Mm. He doesn't seem to flinch. He's just standing there. You can barely see him. His eyes are currently shielded over. He's standing there as if nothing's happening. You can't really tell his expression. Because there's a full night uh, night suit. What do you guys want to do? Right now in the sky, there's a moment, oh, and like Reckon, Reckon and just like does it, and then you see for a moment him like twist and turn, and the he's back into like Koval form. He's no longer a bird, like a giant raven. Koval form. Yeah, Reckon form. Uh, it's not Reckon. Sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so Reckon like is in the sky, and he twists and he turns, and there's a moment that you see him like almost fall out of raven form back into his like normal body mm-hmm. and he just takes is a he moment. still on the same level as he, he, he shot up above like above he us. went okay. so high in that sky and like parted the clouds as he had grown form he was almost god i would say he would he was almost from your perception only because you could tell everybody on the ground it's a little well drusilda i brought drusilda up with me so we're about yes. on the third yeah his level. wing his wingspan on either side hit about 30 feet from like okay. where you guys were. It was gigantic. So I, wide. I just- from where everyone looked, he looked kind of like a 10 foot to 20 mm-hmm. I've had my eye on him this entire time mm-hmm. and I'm just getting, I'm just still ready in case he falls out of the sky. Well, and that's I need exactly to... what starts to happen. Okay. So there's a moment that he like turns out of form and you can see him slowly falling. The Put me down in the tree. Not helping. Yeah, you're already down, darling. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're down. Um, I'm going to swoop in and and fly up to him and just grab him. Okay, then I want you to make this can be an acrobatics check okay. as you're kind of very you put you put your Zilda down. You guys have been hanging out near the third floor, but you zoom like you just skyrocket as you see him change. Ooh. That's going to be a twenty-four. Yes. So he is tumbling, like falling in a way, but there's like also like a comfort in him. Like he's not afraid. Like he's like just falling and like enjoying the fall, almost like Icarus. And you take a moment and you <laughs> so sw- dramatic. <laughs> and you swoop beneath him perfectly. Like now his white angel wings that he had manufactured himself in his golden armor. You gotta catch him with this your black wings and your 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 body and you hold him perfectly as you had fallen. Now there's a bit of an impact, but because of the acrobatics that you had done, the spiraling, you're able to very gently get him and float him to the ground. But there is still panic and ca- and chaos. Huck. You were the only one, because of where you were placed, that very actively saw Trinity and all of her friends around her dash into the hall behind you. Mm-hmm. That's the southern, um, because you guys were placed at the southern, that's the southernmost hall, and dashed to their left. They just ran. So everybody okay. starts to collect, but people are in panic. There's people applauding. The announcer's like, well, that was um quite a beautiful sight to see. It was nice to see the clouds part for once in Candlekeep. Oh, oh gosh. 
Anyway, everybody, I want you all to uh, consider your votes. You can cast as early as now or hold your ballots for another couple days until the actual ball. But as you know, you probably know who you want to vote for now. The ballots have begun. Just make sure you catch Gavin Rex. He's always somewhere. <laughs> as the announcement ends, people are still clapping, but there's still like this like odd sort of section of panic right by where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, coming right by that location. So you guys gather together. What's down that left corridor where they went running? Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you would know exactly because you haven't been a student here very long. Yeah. But um, for those who have been students at the school, want to roll a quick history check and see if you can figure that out? Uh, should Seven. I roll because I snuck around yes, the yeah, school Yes, yeah, you sneak enough? around. Yeah, yeah. But Huck, I'm assuming you ask them, like, what's down there, right? What, sorry, what roll did you say? History. 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 15. Okay. 9. 16. 16. 7. Okay, so down the left... sisters never know anything. No. <laughs> down the left main hall, that's the Red Grey Tower. That's the abjuration school. So she ran back, likely in the direction of her school. Mm -hmm. Or her, her dormitory. Yeah, okay. So you catch him, you slowly glide to the ground. This all happens in the course of 10 seconds as you slowly lower him onto the stage where he once was. Trinity has run away. Huck has jumped behind and held onto Buck as Buck has been screaming in pain. So what, do you, what would you guys all like to do very quickly? How far away am, uh, is Huck from Farouk? Pretty close, within shouting distance? Yeah, 15 feet. Okay. He's gonna... Where are you going? I I gotta go heal him. He, he's hurt real bad. I, I'm gonna go see Miriam and okay. see if she has anything to help me. Okay. And then Huck just runs straight for the... Staying in the shadows, not going anywhere near the sunlight, going straight for the yeah. catacombs. And you quickly like point in the direction of where Trinity had run. Yeah, I let them know. You let them know. You have a moment where you recognize... That's her school, the school of abjuration down that corner. Should we go after Trinity then? Yes. And we start running towards our friends, Beckett and Fruit. Next time on the broadcast. I think we should follow them. So she's a godwiss, and she's a vampire. She has no soul worth restoring. Definitely a vampire lair. You look behind you, you can't even see your friends. Hey, I'm Kimberly Daugherty, and I play Celine Tassar. Hello, I'm Ali Gonino, and I play Farut Ajalik. Hi, my name is Alice Gretchen, and I play Drizilda Slendron. Hi, I'm Erica Fermina, and I'm playing Starla Highhill. Hi, my name's Rachel Seeley, and I am playing Huck Lokley. And I'm Kelly Lynn D'Angelo, your dungeon master and woman of many faces, creatures, and things unknown. I'm Richard Quiner, and I produce this podcast in partnership with Wizards of the Coast.